Today I will show you how to make this opium one frame glitch effect. Yo, hello. It's Poppy Custom Editing Visuals here. And real quick guys, happy late Halloween. Uh, for this Halloween season, I have released an opium presets pack update. The update includes some really cool presets and a tutorial, which explains how to use other presets in the pack and gives you some tips. And if you don't already know, the opium presets pack is a text, glitch, and effect based pack that has that Ken Carson look. And if you want to check out the pack, then I actually have a $5 discount code, which is called Povicus. But anyways, let's begin. All right guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is create an adjustment layer by pressing ctrl y and now i'll just cut up the adjustment layer by pressing ctrl shift d and this adjustment layer is going to be like six frames long I, and press ctrl shift d and delete there and what i like to do when i do one frame glitches is i like to take a one frame from the clip that's going to be right after the first clip and i like to take just one frame out of the clip and place it in between here and there are a bunch of more tips which i'll give you later on but now let's just make the effect so let's start adding some effects so the first effect i like to add this levels and I like to just keyframe the histogram like here and uh, just leave it like that at the start. And now let's add CC Vignette. And I like to make the amount of the start to 98 and also keyframe it at the start. And let's keyframe the angle of view as well. And now let's add S Invert. Actually, you don't need S Invert and this could just work with the normal Invert. But for some reason, when I try to save this as a preset and then when I add the preset, it's just dark. It doesn't work with Invert. If you don't want to save this as a preset but just like remake this all the time then you can actually just use invert and it's going to be the absolutely same the whole tutorial is going to be the absolutely same and you don't need s invert and now for the invert we need to press e and go to s invert right here and go to compositing options and make the effect opacity to zero and let's keyframe it at zero here and let's close it out like here and the last effect i'll add is transform and keyframe it to the scale at the start to 100 all right guys now let's just mess around with the keyframes so we need to press u and we will see all of the keyframes that we have added and now let's go one frame forward right here where i had this little interference and here i'm going to go to levels i like to make the input black to 20 here just to make it a bit darker you know and the cc vignette amount to 150 angle of view to 50.6 and that's it let's go one frame forward again and now this one is a big one but i like to make the levels here to 71 guys for some clips this is a bit too dark so you might need to make this lower for some clips you want he'll be able to see the clip for example on this clip if we made it to 71 it's completely dark so yeah take that with grain of salt you might need to make this like a bit lower but for a lot of the clips it works just fine like this and now let's bring these two keyframes s inward and transform right here to this place and now let's go one frame forward where the next clip starts actually and here i like to make the s inward to 100 and i'm gonna drag the transform right here actually now let's go one frame forward again and here i like to make the, the s inward to zero and uh, transform to 135. I like to scale it up and let's go to the last frame, which is actually this frame. And here, let's make the S invert to 100% and uh, transform to 100. And we have basically made the effect, sort of. Uh, on a lot of different clips, this will look way better. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention actually is on what frame rate I like to edit in. So this works on every frame rate you have, by the way. But the frame rate I found to work the best for this is 20 frames per second. So yeah, here 20 frames per second although i usually like to edit in 24 if you edit in 20 frames per second then this will be the best but for 24 frames per second it's going to be good for 30 frames a bit worse but still good and now let's press ok now we can actually save this as a preset so we can go to one of the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select every keyframe we made and go to animation save animation preset and here we can call it opium one frame glitch and i've actually saved this as a preset already so You'll just need to press save, but I won't because I've already saved it. And whenever you want to add it, you'll just be able to go to effects and presets and type OPM one frame glitch. And you'll just be able to drag and drop it and use it whenever you want. The only things you'll need to change is probably the uh, levels input black because that is a bit too dark for a lot of the clips. But if, if it's too dark, but you want to make it cooler, there are a lot of ways you can make this cooler. One way I found is to actually use OPM presets pack presets. So one of my newest presets is OPM 15. 
15 and we can press control y below this layer and make it into one frame layer so just delete that and so yeah just on one frame and here we can add like opium 15 and you will get this look uh, now i think that looks dope but even a cooler look would be opium 17 uh these are just very different variations that i like to add and look because this is below invert this is how it looks these effects look very good with even without the inward like this uh this is the whole look you will get by just using opium 17 so i love to use opium presets for one frame glitches a lot and yeah so you can like mess around like that and look how cool the transition will be and you can just add this effect on anywhere let's go to a different transition so one thing i like to do for one frames is i like to reverse it like you see he's taking a step and then reverses it so i just took one frame from before the video like somewhere here and just added it here so here you can actually press ctrl d on this layer and add it here and this would be a really cool effect a really cool transition as well if you want more really cool one frame glitches then you can go here and type like opium 2 and i'll just press ctrl y make this to one frame by pressing ctrl shift d and here we can add opium 2 and this is the effect you will get this is how it looks standalone such a cool one frame glitch it's just actually such a cool effect and i remember what i did for the intro of the video is i like to add like one frame glitches and then after the one frame glitches i like to slow it down and add some cool opium effects and here in the intro of the video i added opium 13 the i think version 3 and yeah that is such a cool effect you can use this as a one frame glitch as well all of these effects are very good as one frame glitches and i've been using them as one frame glitches for a long time one tip i need to give you is you don't need to use the full length of this effect so let's press ctrl d like you don't need to use all six frames like you can cut it even like this because sometimes it's a bit too long another really cool opium one frame glitch i like to do is by just using opium 17 so i'm gonna press ctrl y and if you just add opium 17 and then like duplicate it and add it one frame in between and the next frame is just a completely random frame so you can have a completely random frame or you can have the original frame you can definitely add more effects to this adjustment layer that we made so for example you could add like deep glow uh this deep glow would look very cool with the inward this is the look you would get it might be a bit too glowy but i also use this a lot but this does require the deep glow plugin so i don't know if you have the deep glow plugin but i really would recommend it but as you can see this is a very cool look and that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya